In this episode, get streaming bot to detect streaming stopping unexpectedly. Bit from network connection dropping, OBS crashing, or even OBS hanging. Hello and welcome to Streamer Bot Bytes, where I cover how to set up and to make the most of the awesome streamer bot. There is one video per topic to make it easy as possible to follow and find. When relevant, sample import code will be provided to make it even easier for you to get started and to add functionality to your stream. So let's get started with the topic for this video. First we need to import the actions. So if we copy the text in the description below, right click, import, and paste in the import string. It can take a few moments to come up. Then if you select import, we have the two actions. For this, we just need to make one change and that's to add in the references in the execute code. And it says up here which two we need, systemdll and system.net.http.dll. So we go to the references, right click, add reference from file. And here, type in system and system.net.http. You can select it this way, whichever way is more comfortable for you. Once they're added, click on compile, make sure in the compiling log it is compiled successfully, and then save and compile. Next, we need to go to the alert and to pick the sound file we want to play when there's a problem. So just pick the sound file you want, click on OK, set the volume you want. You want it quite loud because also you want to be alerted to it, but not too loud it's going to scare you to death. Click on OK, and that's the action setup. Finally, we want to be able to set up a timed action. So add here, OBS monitor, and how often do you want it to check? I would suggest maybe 30 seconds would be a good starting point here. And then monitor OBS. Make sure you have repeat and enabled selected. So this is going to monitor every 30 seconds. Once we've done this, it's already monitoring. As soon as you start streaming, it's going to put a flag on saying, OK, I'm monitoring. And you only get notified once when things go wrong. So that's either when there's going to be a problem or actually when you click on the stop streaming button. So let's simulate a network connection drop by just turning off the Wi-Fi. And within 30 seconds, we should get notified that there's an error. And here we go, we've got an error. We've got notified. And now for an optional part. We're going to walk through the actions and what they do. The first one, alert, super simple, just plays the sound that we configure. The monitor OBS, we do two things. We get a global with a default value of off with monitoring. So this means we start up with a monitoring state of off. Then the code, we've got our references. This is a class that's set up so when we are asking OBS what the state is, it will let us know, uh, it will know how to interpret that result. That's actually ties in with some code in here. Um, yes, so let's walk through and explain what's going on. So the first thing we do is we start with monitoring and if we put in the args, so the args is what we've put in above. If it's not off, we say monitoring is true, otherwise it's false. So this is going to, to, um, to control how the flow of this is going to run. We then look for processes named obs64.exe. And if there are any of those, the length of that process is, is going to be one. Typically, there's only one process of that name. If there isn't, though, no, it could be that you're running 32-bit OBS. And so we'll check again for a similar way for 32-bit OBS. 
And so if we then check again for the length, if it's over zero, OBS is running. We know that's good. What we can do then is we can do something called dot responding on the process, which means it's not in a hung state. So that's another thing we'll check. If we do, we continue into this, but if we don't, follow this line down the bottom. If it's monitoring, we'll set an alert, put something in your log and turn monitoring off. The same again, if we don't find any processes and the monitoring is on, we'll set an alert, say OBS is not running anymore and turn the monitoring off. What we do then is we use an internal command to streamer bot, is OBS connected? Again, if it isn't, then we will report that. I'll need to fix this, <laughs> but I'll put some code in there to, again, log something and notify the alert. It's then going to look at the streaming state. So this is going to look at the get stream status. It's an OBS raw command. And that response will deserialize the object here with the class that's above. And then we can look at the streaming.status streaming. So this is the class that's listed above. And we get the deserialized response from the ABS response here. So if we're streaming, great, we can then do further checks. If not, again, if monitoring, we're going to set a, an alert that the log file know why and go forward. And the last thing we do is we try a HTTP client. So this is a network connection. We give it five seconds to make that connection. And we're trying to go to twitch.tv. So we're trying to look at a, um, a location which is going to be able to take lots of requests and should be up when the bot is. And if this fails, either you know, with a, uh, typically with the catch statement is try and catch. Um, if, if it tries this and it fails, it's going to jump in the catch. And again, if we have an error, we'll do that. Otherwise, if the response starts with a standard HTML response, then we'll see, see that it's actually a network response that's looking good. Um, but if it doesn't, so it's not starting with that, we again check for the monitoring. And finally, if everything all, is all good, we know we're streaming, we know we're connected, we can then turn the monitoring on. And that's an explanation of the actions. Please like and subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. If there's a topic you'd like covered, please do let me know in the comments or on Discord. Check out my Twitch stream to see the bot in action and for other examples. The links to my Twitch, social media and to streamer bots can be found at vrflad.com. Additional links to others that provide streamer bot content can be also found in the description. Finally, thank you Nate for making a great bot and please consider supporting his Patreon which is linked from streamer.bot.